so my name is Lauro. I'm originally from Brazil, but now I'm studying in Germany. And currently I'm doing my Erasmus here in, in Bordeaux. I'm 24 years old and I have already lived in India before traveling to Germany, so I've traveled quite a bit. Uh, so, my idea of personal branding is actually about um, expressing my personality because I don't really like the idea that someone should abandon their personality just to fit a professional profile or something like that. I think you have, there, is, there has to be a match between my personality and the personality that the company is looking for. Okay. So, my approach to personal branding online is actually to reflect what I'm trying to learn, the skills that I have, but also what I'm looking for uh, in, in the corporate, uh, in an organization or something like that. So, we can actually, I, I can offer value and I can also receive value from the company. Well, I, I think it's the first impression. Okay. So, when a company opens my LinkedIn profile or my personal website, for example, uh, they will have a feeling, they will have an idea of the things that I value the most, of my approach to several um, say professional skills. For, for example, you think about design okay. and the way that I design my website is, is a way that I'm expressing my concepts about design, my concepts about uh, what's important in, in this field or when they look at my um, developer codes that I put on GitHub, they also have an idea about uh, how organized I am, for example, or how, how thorough I am about the way that I document things. So it's a very good way of expressing and showing to other people uh, that I have the skills, not only the, the hard skills that are important for a job, but also the soft skills that add more value than just knowing how to create a PHP script, but also how to document it properly so other people can easily access it and, and work with it. Firstly, I, I think it's important to know um, what's trending in the industry. So, for example, uh, my personal goal is to enter the field of uh, business intelligence and work with data science or data analysis. So, what is trending in the field? Uh, what is the most important programming language that I need to learn? Uh, what are the tools that I need to learn? And then I go after these skills, actually. So, um, I go beyond what university offers. I actually look for online courses, online specializations, and I go and I take them and I get the certificates, I put them on my LinkedIn, I put them on my website. So I'm, I think a proactive approach is important and okay. much more than a reactive one. Okay. So I read a lot of, of, of articles about what's important mm -hmm. and I think that they carry a lot of information. So I, I acquire this knowledge uh, passively while I'm reading and also when I'm doing a specialization or something like that, you can see that they use most of the important keywords. Okay. So, yeah, job searches are also important. So you see okay. the skills that they are targeting, you can actually mimic their uh, expressions in, in my profile. Yeah. 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 Sounds, sounds good. I think it's fairly easy to create a personal website, even if you don't have the coding um, skills that many people think are necessary. You, act, you can actually create it in five minutes, it's so easy. So it really adds a lot of value. So when you think about channels, you have to think about, well, LinkedIn, very well. Uh, but then what can you do apart from LinkedIn, more uh, than LinkedIn? Because everyone is doing LinkedIn, so, or hopefully everyone is doing LinkedIn. So you have a personal website, you have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have GitHub, for example, that you can share your uh, work right. and you can share more than just code. You can share uh, pictures, designs that you did, you can share content that you created, you can share interesting articles that you like, you can comment on things, you can uh, collaborate on other people that are developing uh, tools. So it's a very flexible tool. So I think there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of channels that you can use and that really just requires a little bit of effort to, to discover. Uh, I think the first thing is to uh, be consistent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you're creating um, an online profile, personal branding profile, 
and it's very connected, like it's my case. For example, uh, my LinkedIn is connected to a lot of uh, other tools and so people can easily find my Facebook account, people can easily find my Twitter account. So you have to be consistent, you have to be careful because if you share something inappropriate in one account, people might find it very, fairly easy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that if you want to start differentiating yourself, start by creating a blog or break, by creating a simple website where you share things that interest you. Okay. And go a bit beyond, uh, say you, you like IT or you like business process modeling for example, create a simple website and start writing articles about it. What's, what's stopping you from doing it? It's basically nothing. You, know, you just have to, to really take one hour every day or half an hour every day and it's done. You don't need to do it every day if you're busy but it really should be done in a consistent uh, manner and, and it really adds a lot of value. Uh, companies, they highly value uh, technical skills. Okay. You should have them, but you should have something else. Right. You should have your personal touch. Right. You should add value to that. You, you should really uh, process the information that you receive and show that you understood and that you can actually work with it. And that's essential, I think, from, from the perspective of an employer who is looking uh, for someone that actually thinks and just doesn't reproduce uh, things, you know, like a computer can reproduce things, you can program an algorithm and it will do things automatically. So companies are not looking for, for, for people who can do automatic uh, tasks, they are looking for people who can create new things based on uh, pre-existing knowledge but that it can create new knowledge so show that you can do it and show that you are proactive about it okay that's it thank you so much for your time sure <laughs> no problem it's a pleasure you.